Okay, just out on a little uh, overnight bike packing trip. So, <laughs> it's pretty windy, just heading over to the West Sussex border and camping at West Hart and Down, uh, which is about an hour away. It's about six ish, six -ish now, so there's no immediate rush. Uh, got the tent with me this time just to see uh, what that's like on the bike. Uh, I was going to take the baby, but I thought I'd try out the tent. Okay, this GoPro hasn't got a lot of battery, so I might have to switch to my phone later on. But I've got too far to go. down this way and hang a right in a minute okay maybe about another half hour to go the, uh, the trail's pretty dry for the most part this is the, the wettest bit and it's not even that bad as far as this goes bike's hand oh. <laughs> The bike's handling pretty well, I see not uh, sprightly, but sure and steady. Uh, we should have plenty of time to set up camp and uh, get organised without having to flap about the uh, lack of light. Just having a push up this uh, Enduro motorbike trail. This is not exactly where I was thinking of camping, but just scoping it out. See, Ooh. see if we can find anything enticing. Okay, following a network of uh, motorbike enduro trails might be on a bit of a wild goose chase, but I think. Might have a look around here, some very level spots. Just want to be mindful of the uh, the beech trees because it's a bit windy and they're known to drop their uh, branches from time to time. It's, I mean, it's not mega bad, but camp under these yews or something or some landy eye by the looks of it. So, a butcher's. Okay, looks like I'm going to go here. I always seem to get funneled to this spot. I've uh, camped here before, but uh, yeah, we're protected by any deadfall, and the ground's pretty clear. Before I um, get all the kit out, I'll just go through what's on the on the bike. Okay, so in the front, this is a stuff sack from a uh, Blue Kazoo sleeping bag. So I've got my sort of spring summer sleeping bag, the inner and outer of the tent rain jacket and sleeping pad in there um, this is just a, an old camera case but I've managed to rig it up so I put me uh, the GoPro in there uh, I've got two litres of water because in the, the South Downs uh, streams aren't very plentiful so I've got to take enough for the uh, for the evening in here I've got tools tube and all that, Leatherman, uh, food and food actually, all my food's in there uh, and a little gilet, there is a bit of space left in there as well and then the other side, is where I'm putting my phone at the moment, um, I don't think there's anything else, I might experiment with having that back again and having a, a bladder for the additional water um, and then because this the legs brush against it a little bit but it's not a major problem um, I've got a pump just on the other side there we go down there and then in here I've got poles for the tent uh, cook set spare layer hat and like the ditty bag 
Um, so I could get, yeah, we've got more space for food in there, more space for food in there, and I could get, you know, food in there as well if I wanted. Uh, I have to sort myself out with a proper bar bag, but this, this still does the job. Okay, so I think we we'll get the tent up now. Okay, so it's uh, nearly eight o'clock now, so I think get a brew on and uh, get dinner on the go. Got lentil curry, but uh, vegetarian, there you go, but that'd be all right. Hopefully some of these tortilla chips might be stayed intact. And uh, anyway, let's get a brew on first. Uh, give myself a, a tick check later as well. One of those buggers, uh, what's that? There's something there. Right. Okay. Done. Normal tea. I kind of wish I brought a naan bread to go with the lentil curry, but there you go. I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't starve to death, though. So let's get dinner on the go. now for the taste test. Definitely should have brought some naan bread but there we go. Oh, yeah it tastes all right. A bit like a uh, Wayfarer meal but a lot cheaper. Yeah. Next time, naan bread, onion bhajis, what else? Popper doms. What? Oh. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Tastes good though. It's about quarter to nine now. The old uh, wind's died down a fair bit. Got pretty blowy earlier. Um, yeah, kit-wise, I mean, this would be everything I'd need for a sort of longish tour. I might need a few extra sort of bits for the bike repair kit and uh, maybe like a power bank. Yeah, oh, the only thing I haven't got is any uh, spare clothing if uh, I got covered in mud. So you know, maybe spare lightweight top and bottoms for sleeping in or something like that but uh, still got plenty of space for that so yeah good sort of free season setup obviously could go lighter could just take a tarp or just take a bivy bag some of my kit you know you can get smaller sleeping bags smaller sleeping pads but uh, that's that's what I've got anyway I'm gonna think I <coughs> think I'm gonna have a hot chocolate and then uh, think about going to bed to be honest
Not that I've cycled all that far, but there you go. <laughs> Well, slept all right, had a good long sleep. It was a bit cooler than I was expecting, but uh, in a good way. Thankfully it wasn't a sweltering, clammy night, so that's good. And uh, time to get a brew on, I think. First brew of the day. So breakfast is a pretty simple affair. So a couple of penny chocolates, amazingly uncrushed, and tea. Not in any particular rush this morning, so I'll probably have another brew before I leave. Well, just having my second brew and uh, contemplating existence. I'm glad I uh, chose last night to camp rather than the night before. It was a it was a beauty night. It would have been all right the night before, but a little bit windier and a little bit wetter. This has been ideal. Okay, so I think I start getting packed up now and uh, make a move. Uh, go home a different way I reckon. There's a little moto enduro trail so I follow that down to the fire road and then go home via, via Burrowton and I think I'll go around Butzer Hill. I don't fancy going straight up it. Anyway there's no rush so I can go where I want. <laughs> All right. So that was the setup last night. Had the both doors wide open. Well I had this side down just in case it rained in the night so it's quicker to zip up but otherwise had it dead open nice and airy okay all packed up that's where I was uh, I've got the bike set up slightly different so I've moved the frame bag back to where I had it before and put the bottle inside I might be able to drop that down at some point and Still get a small bottle in there, but um, anyway, we miss about that another time. I think I'll hook up on this uh, motorbike enduro trail and take that to the fire road and uh, make our way back home. Or my way home. Back on the fire road, that was a nice little bit of a techie single track first thing in the morning. It's a good fun on the mountain bike actually, because obviously you can hit it flat out. But uh, yeah, good laugh.
Okay, a bit of off-road, bit of road, and then a bit of off-road, and then home. Could have gone the roadway this way, but uh, there's a quite a nice byway, so traffic free. The old, uh, you can see that the old contrast is a bit high, but the old front load is a bit wonky today, but it's secure, so that's the main thing. I have to sort myself out proper bar roll, but it's all money. Okay, the old GoPro's died, so I'm on the phone. It might be a bit wind noisy, but uh, I'm on the rail railway line, so I think I'll leave it here. Successful trip, so catch you on the next one.